Hello, in this video, I am going to show you the transform class. So the transform class simply allows you to transform the contents of, you know, what's inside of it. So it could be an image, it could be text. I'm going to use an image, but you could put a container inside of it. You could put just an image, you could put a row or a column that allows you to put multiple widgets inside of it. So I've got this child, which is the container, and inside that I've got a child, which is an image. I'm going to change this container to a transform widget. And to do that, you can literally change it to transform. This has a requirement. It needs a transform property. That's like the minimum requirement that they need. It is, this is not optional. So you put transform. And if you put matrix, so this is to do with matrices, matrix four, and you can rotate it along one of the you know axes. You can translate it, translation and movement. Rotation is obviously just rotating and skewing is essentially like stretching it. I'm just going to deal with rotation, but you can check out the others as well. I'm going to do rotation by the Z axis, which will be rotation in the normal 2D, normal 2D rotation. So because it is in radians, that's just something to bear in mind. You can get a converter to convert it from radians to decimal, I mean to degrees if you want to. I'm going to put zero for now, just so you can see nothing changes. So nothing changes. Let's say if I want to do 45 degrees, 3.14 is 180 degrees, basically pi. 1.57 will be 90 degrees. So it'd be half of that, so that's 0 0.785 roughly. 0 0.785, 0 0.785, it should be 45 degrees. Okay, as you can see, it's rotated it by the top left. If you want to change that, and obviously if I was to do minus, for example, it rotates it the other way. If I want to change the point that it's rotating around, you just put origin, and you just put an offset. So how many... You know, essentially logical pixels you want to move left and right. But let's say for the 100 by 100. Let's say if I was to change this to zero. This is normal. And as you can see, it's rotated it by about, you know, this sort of point here. So what I want you to do as an extra task is experiment with this, experiment with the different rotation matrices, the translation and the skewing ones, but also try and see if you can make this dynamic so it rotates it by the center of the image. If you want a little clue, you'll want to create this into a variable and get the width and the height. And do, you'll need to do something with that. If you have any questions though, feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.